And so obviously you mentioned there you can use it for uh, almost like spiritual breakthrough type work as well. What are some of the other things that you can do with breath? Because I think sometimes, as you say, people might just be like, oh, is the breathing just like to calm down like they do in yoga? Like, well, what are some of the different avenues that you've seen and used breath for? And even in your business as well, what, yeah, what are some of those like aspects that you used it for? Yeah. So with circular connected breath in particular, which is the main style that I lead and that I love, and that's the first style that I fell in love with and got introduced to. Um, a lot of those uses can be to connect deeper to yourself, get business clarity, um, figure out your life's purpose, let go of past trauma, a lot of inner child healing, a lot of shadow work. And then when we have other more simple forms of breath work, for example, box breath is a really great technique where we can just breathe in for four counts through our nose, hold for four, exhale for four through our nose, and then hold for four and repeat that several rounds. And that's really good for calming your mind, grounding yourself, feeling not as stressed. The Navy SEALs used to use that breathing technique before they would, you know, have to be on and have game time. So yeah, it's, I mean, breathwork has been around for so many years. There's so much that you can do with it. I think the more challenging question would be, what can't you do with breathwork? Because you can also use it with Tantra and connecting deeply with your partner. I like to say that the breath is like a metaphor. So the inhales are like, what are you taking into your life? What are you creating consciously with your efforts and with your business and with what you're launching? Whereas the exhales is what's been in your way? What is the the fog in your brain that you need to let go of and, and release. Um, recently I had a massive breakthrough in my relationship and the analogy that came through was like, there's alphabet soup in my brain and we need to drain it, <laughs> you know, like create space to receive the new. And I love that because sometimes we do need to release in order to create space to receive. And other times we're ready. We're like empty. We're ready. Like what's next? What's next universe? What am I here to really create? And so what I found is that using different styles of breath work, especially circular connected breath work with my business coaching clients has been huge because the number one thing that I hear is I feel disconnected from my vision. I feel disconnected from my business and I'm confused on my messaging. and. All of those can be solved in one breathwork session because you reconnect to yourself first and you reconnect to, oh yeah, this is why I became an entrepreneur. This is why I took that scary leap of faith that wasn't as comfortable as the nine to five that I was doing before. So it's really profound, the things that come through. And um, it also makes my job a lot easier because I just empower them to unlock a lot of the gifts. And then we integrate it and whip it up into a business plan and they execute it. And it's awesome. Um, and you know that it's created from the heart and the soul rather than the head and looking and seeing what everyone else is doing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's amazing. I was going to ask you, what have been some of the cool shifts that you've seen with your clients, obviously helping them do that to integrate, to realign with what they you know, what they first started their business for? What have been some of the cool shifts after um, a few sessions with you that you've seen um, clients experience? Yeah, I've seen so many. Goodness, I don't even know which ones to share. One of my clients, Lauren, she is amazing. And she's had multiple incredible experiences with breathwork. Um, what's interesting is that she really identifies as spiritual in nature and that um, she's done a lot of like consciousness work. And she was raised Jewish. And in one of the sessions, she said that Jesus came to her, which is pretty crazy. She's like, I was taught that Jesus doesn't exist. This is wild. Like, why is he coming to me? And apparently Jesus had a message for her and was like, oh yeah, like you don't need to have fear. Fear is simple. And it just stands for feel everything and release. And how lucky are you that you get to also be a coach and support people and change people's lives. Like I couldn't use my voice. I'm giving you the power now to use your voice in your business and to share everything that is on your heart, because I know that you're fully connected to your heart. And like, you are that messenger right now, you have full permission. And like in that moment, she felt this like huge energy in her throat and then just like started crying and releasing. And it was really beautiful. And afterwards she was like, that's crazy. <laughs> like what? I never believed in Jesus up until now. I have personally never seen Jesus in breath work. <laughs> I'm not um, particularly religious, although also very spiritual, um, but have seen a lot of really incredible things from other realms, which just puts you into perspective with how magical life is and how 
tiny uh, our thoughts are and how tiny, like it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. And when we can open ourselves up to what is the energy that's bigger than us, it just feels like you have this edge that other entrepreneurs don't have. 